All right, so I did a real bad job yesterday. Uh, we got, as you can see, we got a lot of work done. Flooring's done. The lift is sitting in place. So um, I haven't done the edge, the edges yet, uh, but obviously I took the cabinets apart to move them over here. So that thing's not level, so we need to torque that down. Um, we, the way we got the cabinets out, as you can see, we had to take the drawers out it wouldn't budge, you know, it was, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of pounds, but we needed to pull it off the wall in order to take it apart. So we took it apart in sections. So two cabinets at a time is how we got it over here. Bryce, Kyle and I got this all leveled and set up last night. Uh, so we did, we did need to disassemble 75% of it. We took the uppers off, you know, disconnected in sections of two uh, and then took the, you know, obviously took the countertops off as well so we could separate it apart. Um, but uh, so today we're going to put it back together, get it leveled, shove it back in place, bolt the lift down. Yesterday I also, off camera, I, uh, I bolted down the, uh, whatever you call this, the covers. Channel. Yeah, the little channel to run all of our, our lines. Now, this array is a little bit different and I couldn't fit that cabinet because we have this door here that we don't have on the other side so i'm hoping this lift we put a uh, a meter on it it run it pulls about nine uh, i'm sorry six amps uh, so i'm hoping i can run it on the same 20 amp of all the outlets so hopefully we're okay with that but yeah hq is coming together um i guess i didn't really tell you guys much about this other than the wash and talk but i leased this side of the building in November, we moved the gym in here uh, temporarily. So the CrossFit gym now is at the new building that I bought off the street. Uh, and then we, um, we're, we we set I set the flooring up. You know, obviously moved all the gym equipment out. Did the flooring first. The lighting we did um, in November in anticipation of us moving in here. Uh, so I have 19 four bulb fixtures in here, and uh, I actually really like how it turned out. Instead of doing six bulb, I did four bulb uh, because this is only 40 by 40 where the other side is 50 by 50. Uh, so I'll take you through today. We'll talk about the sonic cabinets. Uh, they actually disassembled really nicely. I've assembled them, but I haven't disassembled them. They disassembled really nicely and they've gone back together like new. And actually they're probably going to go to better, go together even a little better. We've spent more time leveling it. So, uh, you know, we're getting it all set up here. All right. So I think what I should do we're gonna have to push this off the wall a little bit, unless you can squeeze in there, Bryce. Uh, mm, no, not that side. <laughs> <laughs> the other side, yeah, but. Uh, now we're pretty freaking heavy. Well, I think it's it's mainly on the feet now, not the metal feet. So I think we could just. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that moved really quick. That's all you need. I almost lost a leg <laughs> between this and the, the hydraulic pump for the twin push. This in position. Okay. Check our level. Set this down here. Oh yeah. Of course, Kyle. Yeah. So. Check here, Kyle. Yeah. That's the level. He's the that level we're dealing king. with. Dang. Call him the leveler. I hope we have enough room to even get that. That freaking high. Like how, oh yeah, that's like on the on ground. The yeah, so the way that these work, there's there's a little L, you can see this L bracket, right? So there's an L here. And then inside of here is a circle threaded foot. So there's a plastic foot with a thread that goes up into the, you know, the body of the cabinet. And so what we do is you can turn it cl clockwise or counterclockwise. Right now it's turned all the way up into this L. We need it to turn down outside of it so we have a little bit of a gap so we can compensate for the pitch and the floor. Because you can see our, our height difference here is way off. And Kyle is a master at this apparently. I mean, if we keep heading down this direction, we're gonna be like 14 feet high by the end. We'll have to see if we can make this work. But yeah, that's, uh, that isn't gonna work. All so right. you have to loosen those wire pipes, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, you probably have to loosen them, but then also get get that in here. So you have to get it in the the corner one as well, and we have to bring this together too. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. bring the actual pegboard together once we get it level. Yeah, because there's it. no way we're gonna be able to hit that hole. Yeah. We also got our mini split done, just in time for it to be 40 degrees outside. It's ridiculous. All right, so these go together. They provide all kinds of really cool stainless stainless hardware as well. So we're, we need the we need the leveling expert here. Yeah. So once I put the countertops back in, I'm gonna clean up all the bases, we number them so we know what order they go in, just in case we got to take them apart. And then of course we didn't number all our drawers, so I'm gonna have to. Have to keep it organized or, or remember where everything went. So here is where the MSS is going, and then over there I'm going to be doing MSS Plus right there. Uh, and for the remainder of uh, the next two months, so the, till the end of April, if you buy some cabinets or obsessed garage, if it's over 7,500 bucks, you get two thousand dollars worth of tools. And you can set up, start to set up your dialed in. Really freaking awesome. I'm also gonna work on setting up tool grid for all these other drawers that have other things. Uh, so I'm gonna be working on that here shortly. But yeah, this uh, process of putting this together is pretty simple. We're just taking the time since we have it to make everything perfectly level. But it will lock it together. Because I, I did that before, but that was on the other side. And so we have this really spot on. So each wire pipe has two rows of the six millimeter stainless hex bolts. And so we're loosening them up so that we have pliability so we can get it level. Uh, we need to loosen this top nut here as well. So I'll loosen that in a second. Uh, and so there's a top nut here in the front, at the top, on each cabinet. And then there's the two, there's two, four, six on the back. And then you have four screws on each of these. Let me show you. So you can see the keyholes. Two, four, six. And then you have one, two, three, four, and then the one here, up there. See that, that connects, connects the two. So the back is all, yeah, left. Swiss tracks, Swiss tracks, chunks, all through, Swiss tracks. And it's a 14 millimeter wrench, by the way. Okay. Alright, so this one I'm going to bring, raise it up. Which one? This very back corner. You want to tilt? Nope. That's why I'm using the wrench. With the wrench, I don't need. I might be stuck. I'm like doing a split right now. Turn your head, you're like, uh. yeah, it's a little. All right, so what did that do? It helped a little bit, definitely helped. You tighten it down. So, I think fine. now we haven't really adjusted this one. These are so, let me see. Bring it. Yeah, these are still. Are they wobbly? Could. No, so, these are a little tricky because you can't get a pen in there straight, so. I'm coloring this in, and I'm going to drill on the, on the outside of this. Because my marker's at a pretty steep angle here. So we're going to put some, some, whatever you call the sleeved anchors, so you can set it on top of them. And then bolt it on. And some filthy anchors. like that. 
that. So I'm going to go on the extreme outside of that. So we have in the center. So these are the anchors that I'm going to use. Hilti 3 8 by 2 and a quarter. So I need 3 8 inch bit. I don't really like to do pilot holes on concrete to go. I'm afraid this is gonna jump around. We need these to be pretty exact. So if I want this, I have to tape this. So that'll set my depth ish. This so they don't damage the threads. We got a freaking thousand pounds. You get that side, I'll get this side. Come on. These fit. We on? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, adjust this side a little bit. Right here. Oh, oh shoot. There you go. I was gonna, trust me, I was not gonna put them in there. I feel like my mechanical inclined makes it better as time goes on. <laughs> the first time I did this, I wasn't so good. I need a 14 millimeter ratcheting. It's probably underneath this. Dang it. Oh, it's that one. Oh, is it the one on the way on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll let you get in there. You got this. Is people are like, what do you do about nuts that fall on the floor? And yeah, I'll pick it up. I mean, anything of a normal size can sit right on the floor, no problem. It's going to be the next. Yeah. We're going to have a two story garage with media up in the top, so second story, and then yeah. below will be Matt's yeah. playground. We're going to turn this into our warehouse, and then after that, then that's when hopefully we build the 200 acre property. I don't to do it. Oh. Okay. It's probably being okay. recorded. Yeah, Definitely what? Is. I'm just getting a little handsy. <laughs> <laughs> Stand on this thing. Uh, Jump on it. Alright, jump. Jump. Here, switch spots. Yeah, you got an extra like 70 pounds on. What the heck? 
Okay, it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. You can get a wrench on it now. Yeah, we need to change our distortion depth a little bit. Get the other one on before I get to too far. How level are we over here, Kyle? Huh? Not very yet. Oh, that side, yeah, we're great right over there. It's in this piece. So this one is missing a pad it's underneath got... the screw that you know the screw that goes for the foot, and so we're having some problems. Probably got ripped off when we first did it, and no one knew what it was. So what you're going to need to do is kind of tilt and pull, and then push in with your foot down there to kind of kick that back in. Got it. Get this. Yep, yep. There you go. In there like that. And I need some screws. Work. I'm gonna try not to drop these. Are you guys going with the system of get it level, tighten it, and then adjust the feet? Yeah, well, we kinda have to with this one because there's no back mm -hmm. back right foot. So we're basically gonna just lock it in to where it's all kind of level. The feet on the other side as needed. Gotcha. Hopefully this should big brain thinking. Lock it together and that back foot being missing won't matter. Don't worry, Kyle Ratchet Hands Henderson has it covered. Right. <laughs> Live life one quarter turn at a time. I think it's quarter mile, but okay. <laughs> what is it? Is that a Fast and Furious quote, right? I can't remember. Where did that come from? A little before your time, Bryce. I've seen that. <laughs> 20 years later. Well, I'm not, it's not like I'm re-watching it to get some knowledge on those quotes again. <laughs> I saw it five times in the theater. Yeah. You went like multiple times and you said, and that's when you got your... Uh, yeah, because you're telling that story. It was like a uh, king of Prussia. Everyone was like racing out of there, and then you you were racing out of there, and something you got a ticket for your friend that wasn't even your friend. Uh, my buddy, no one's racing out of. There. I wasn't racing. He had his sister Shelly Cavalier, and he was like revving up or whatever. And then like you got pulled over because we drive burnouts, and I got pulled over. <laughs> Because he thought, the cop instantly thought, oh, look at these two ricers over here, right? <laughs> uh. All right. That's solid, dude. Solid. Stand on this here. Or you're going to have to pop up here and pull it up. All right, come on. Okay. This one's a little, must be the floor's not level or it's a little bent. This is the last one. Maybe a little of both. Yeah, you're gonna have to listen to the other one. I'm getting a workout over here. He's gonna take his t shirt off next. <laughs> I'll be out of here then. It's gonna get. Kyle's gonna be sweating and. When I see, when I see him grab the razor blade and cut his pants in the jorts, <laughs> we know it's on. <laughs> I'm not wearing jeans today though. His legs, they're so hot. <laughs> it's like, uh, those, you know, remember those like shorts that you could turn into pants, had like the yeah, zippers around them? Yeah, 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 Kyle's gonna, yeah. Dang it. Suit up. It's spitting everywhere. <laughs> Freaking pollen, man. Every year I get so excited that. The trees will die because we'll have like this last little cold snap and kill them all. And it never works. <laughs> this is the uh, recommended seating position for tightening things. Maximum torque between the legs. Maximum comfort. It's way easier to use the 15 millimeter on a 14 millimeter nut here. Just kind of lazily put it over and then. Yeah. So you don't have to try and get it exact. Alright, bro. I think that got rid of the wobbliness. Yep.
with that little power shift that I took off the S, this side. So this side can be different. All this stuff is going to come down. Oh, there it is. I'm reuse this time. See, I want this flat. So that it doesn't get in the way. <clears throat> I'm going to need to cut that off even for me. Tie all this up nice and neatly. Because we're going to be adding LED lighting at some point. And this one's on and this one's on. Both in here are on. Yeah, all three are on. See a blue light? Yeah. Good. Light. Good. And light. Alright, so everything's good and powered. Which everyone has the circle on it. Yeah, you gotta flip these. So this has a circle here. Yeah, so flip it around. So this one has to go at the end. Scratchy circle goes right. There it was. That way, because these have probably already been pulled. Not your back, Kyle. the camera and then I'll squeeze down in there. Which um is that which orientation for this one? Matt? What? Which orientation on this one? Um just a little dent about a third of the way through on this. Yeah I'm not sure. Just put it on. Yeah I think I think we'll want to push it in place before we put the countertops on. Do that. On three. <laughs> right now. While well, Kyle's back there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, is there any reason why we can't push it back in place? I don't think so. The four screw in the top zone? Yeah. Yeah, tops so are fine. In place and we can really rack on it to try to get these lined up. Oh yeah, that's what was holding us up. <laughs> 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 
like move the whole pipe and see the <laughs> where we at. It's just a metal pipe, right? Well, I think we're back. That's what the whole thing was holding the whole thing. One, two, three. That's it. Nope. We must be against the base board. That's good. <laughs> we. Bryce, you could probably see well, we got it there, the four of us, and then we're like, we can't, this thing isn't moving any further, and that's why. It was sitting right on that darn pipe. Frozen in time. Where's your big fat? Can't get it in there. There's one on my desk. There's the pipe. Yep, there's water there. Just checking. <laughs> Just checking. Wait a minute, you're not allowed here. Man, it's cold. Yeah. Ice over there. This is like a darn AC banana back here now. Look at all this. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I've got the generator on my side. Yeah. That looks like something big. Woo! Okay. Whew. Off. Someone call Kyle. Tell him to turn that water on. See. Well, just turn the outside spigot on. Oh, no. That's it. Turn all three of those off then. Nope. I'm going this way. Uh, no, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Go over there and see if those still shoot water, Kyle. I trust you. Uh, did they just shoot straight up? Yeah. Just make sure you turn it off real quick. Kyle, yeah. just, just open it. Squeeze it. It's a little, a little, little chirp. <laughs> yeah, it's leaking. It's peeing all over you. <laughs> oh god! No, no, oh, no. Gosh. That's that's definitely a uh... rag. Give me a rag. I'll give you something. Rag. Oh, what? I thought you had actually something. Yeah. 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 If I had my PC, you know, whatever you call PVC it. PVC cutter? Yeah, you just snip the saw. Tell me they don't have a sonic PVC cutter, Matt? No, I don't think so. Go right on here. I'm gonna chop the wall back a little bit. Oh shoot! That's not half inch. He's going to Home Depot. I think oh, this, yeah, this flushes up against the back here. So I'm gonna have to hole saw my piano rod cap. This one is the corner end piece. That one goes to the left right here. Okay. Um, that one goes here. Nobody freaks keep us, out. Keep us from getting killed. We got some insulation on the edge of that. <laughs> Remember last time people were like, oh my god, what are you doing? Die. I haven't died yet, so I think we're okay. And the other one has it in there too, so. Well, we couldn't fit it on this side without taking a candle on. Yeah, so this one has a little. Come on, focus. There it goes. What is this? Huh? So Kyle eats every day. <laughs> taco salad? Yeah. Excuse me, taco salad? I wouldn't mind that. I'd probably Some eat that Doritos. every day. Doritos in there? Exactly, that's the way to do it. Goes well with my Mountain Dew. So. I can't remember 
So there's someone over there on your all side. They're like Doritos and taco salad. You're like what? It's like you never nacho, heard of that. Nacho cheese Doritos, perfect. It's like more cheese, man. I also ran out of cheese, so it works out. <laughs> Oh, we lost half the screws. Shoot. It's just freaking jammed in there now. How did I manage to do that? How's that even freaking possible? All right, so start to put the drawers back in. All the uppers are done. Got some serious organization to do. I'm going to put all the drawers back and then that'll afford me the ability to have a little more space. I'll cut that out and put the, the side cabinet back in place and we'll kind of keep working through this. I'm going to change up that one over there. Move these separator things down, put the tools on top. This thing I never use. Oh shoot. Dang it. This one's heavy as crap too. Yeah, we're gonna put this one over here. Actually come to think of it. You do it right, it works great. Okay. Uh I guess I'll wrap this up because we never really wrapped up what we did today. And it's like eight o'clock, I'm the only one here, so Matt's not here. So we got the ramps done. We still have to put in these for the lift and we'll probably have to cut them off because they're a little bit too long, the anchors. And uh, all the shelving's done. Tops are done, countertops done, tools are in. Um, it's really close to the wall, so. It's like super close here. Like I can't get my knuckles past it. But this is the last part we have to do here. And since this is so close to the wall and it has to meet up with this, it bolts into this wire pipe right here. It has to like, you know, we have to get rid of like all these wires or like these bricks. So it's like this brick probably will not fit. It'll probably run into the wall. And these grommets also might not fit being so close to the wall because in the old side of the building we had this off the wall a little bit like I can't even get my hand in it <laughs> it's so like, what the heck so I don't know <laughs> so yeah that's where we left off it's just getting this big closet the storage closet or locker or whatever into the corner so that's it you know it's a lot more open over here now no more tools on the ground so we will continue this well matt will probably continue it on i guess the weekend he'll probably be here and i think the moderators for facebook are coming here this weekend the weekend of the 21st 22nd so yeah that's it guys it's another moving vlog done. And if you didn't know, like uh, moving is kind of a funny term, but all it really is is, oh, I locked this door. So here's the parking lot. So we moved everything from over there to right here. So that's where it's at now. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.